Hello. Hi, Dr. Wan. Hello. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, give me a few seconds. I'll be back. No problem.
Hi, Dr. Wong, I'm back. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, just waiting for others to join. Are you okay? Are you able to go out, um, dinner, do something free? Um, not really. I made a salad at home, but I went jogging every day, and that's some relaxation time for me. Um, also, like today has been quite fun because um, I signed up for the Latin program I'm talking about, and they got back to me. So yeah. Hey, Marty, how are Okay, are you able to join? Okay. Leo I think Leo has a school, I, he said he has a school course now, so he won't be able to join. So everybody can hear me now? 
I, I think we, let's wait for one or two more minutes so we can start. Um, yeah. Maybe a couple more students going to join as well. So, Morty, since you are the first time here, do you want to give a just a very quick self introduction to the group? Uh, sure. So, uh, I'm Morty and I'm from Shenzhen. Um, I go to school in Rhode Island and I love sailing and cross country. Okay, cool. Yeah, can you tell them your school name? So, uh, I go to Portsmouth Abbey School. Great, yeah. So we have here, um, we have uh, Alejandro. Alejandro right now is, um, you know, rising sophomore at uh, Exeter. So Jenny Jing is a rising freshman at uh, Andover. Frank is rising junior at Andover. Kevin is rising sophomore at Tuft. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So we have probably, you know, Leo. Um, Leo is a rising junior at uh, Berkshire, so he won't be able to join today. I think he has a school school lesson, something. I, I don't know. It must be a summer program, I guess. Um, Okay, uh, let's start. So um, I know Frank um, is, uh, won't be able to talk. I think he has, he's tying to something, but he, he can you know join for the first 30 minutes and he has something else to do. So um, let me share um, my, uh, my screen. And uh, um, so let me quickly go over um, last time what we, so last time basically our, um, Last time we mainly talked about, um, you know, light, uh, uh, you know, in a fancy term, uh, physics term, a terminology called the photons. So basically we talk about the history of the, you know, discovering of the you know, light physics or optics. And, uh, you know, starting from, uh, you know, uh, Greek time and through the middle ages and uh, through the, you know, the, uh, Renaissance age and uh, you know the later on to all the way to Einstein uh, general relativity so basically and of, of course in between there is uh, you know there's a famous um, um, Copernicus, Kepler, Galileo and uh, you know uh, Isaac Newton and all the story and uh, uh, you know of course uh, uh, the wave theory from from the Regans and uh, you know famous uh, double slit experiment from Thomas Young and so on. So, uh, so we basically talk about uh, go through the uh, this uh, you know quick history of the, you know optics development, a uh, light, uh, electromagnetic wave, of course the Maxwell equation all the way to Maxwell equation and uh, uh, the beautiful, beautiful, most powerful. Uh, you know, one of the, uh, the, the, the most brilliant achievement in human history uh, about the, 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 the world around us. Uh, so Maxwell, where this four equation set is uh, the, the most beautiful stuff uh, we ever, as a human society, able to discover or create it. So, so those are the, basically some of the, talking about, the, you know, the light as a phone phone with particle and the light as a wave. And so this dual, duality debate or the dual, dual nature debate and whether light is a, a particle or wave and actually it's both. And not only light is both a particle and a wave, a dual nature and every, everything, everything else, everything else and always has a dual nature, including, in, including the, you know, the, um, 
um, so you know the daily 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 stuff we can we handle with like uh, football or uh, soccer ball and uh, those also has a wave nature even though we treat it as a you know so called particle and um, anyway and I I, I Originally, I was going to talk about, of course, uh, the matter of the light speed, and eventually, from the beginning of the really early on, try to the difficulty to determine light speed because light travels so fast. And uh, and uh, uh, with uh, with a number we know today is uh, about uh, three uh, uh, times ten to power eight uh, meter per second. As uh, light is light speed in vacuum, I mean. Is um, is a, a fundamental physics 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 constant, which is really really important. Um, in any way, so then the other you know um, you know I can quickly go over those other uh, nature of um, optics or light. You know, light generated of course by the by the you know the by the electron, for example, orbiting uh, uh, um, you know around the nuclear and then jumping between two. Uh, to what we call the energy level uh, from um, you know this is what the quantum mechanics coming in quantum physics coming in and everything is uh, you know every the light option is really associated with this kind of you know quantum jump and for the most case and um, and so um, um, and other things uh, relate to the all the nature of light interference and the scattering and uh, you know diffraction and uh, of course reflection diffraction and uh, you know um, all those kind of thing and those are the physics uh, of, you know phenomenon and um, optical phenomenon and it's quite very very rich so optical physics or uh, optics or uh, photon uh, phenomenon is uh, the one of the richest uh, physics phenomenon uh, in you know uh, in the in the in the science scientific world and it's quite interesting there's so many uh, so many things you know of course we deal with on um, light uh, photons every day because you know everything we see everything we detect matter lots of time for example we study universe and everything is based on the you know uh, detecting of uh, optics and even today we deal with so-called optics or dealing with electromagnetic wave in uh, in special in current infrared i mean internet or info Information age is even so because Wi-Fi and the internet. Uh, internet is based on the optics, um, and optical communication, and the fiber optics. And for example, cross um, cross ocean, uh, you know, communication is based on the fiber, uh, you know, uh, uh, fiber uh, bundles uh, buried underneath the sea, and uh, you know, connect between uh, two continent, uh, so we can track. Uh, we can communicate uh, through uh, uh, with a light speed. I mean, through this uh, fiber uh, communication channels, and uh, uh, of course, we also have microwave, uh, you know, uh, uh, channel uh, like the uh, like the we are the using the uh, cell phone and uh, you know Wi-Fi and so on. So, so those are the really interesting optics. So there are so many things uh, interesting physics. I mean, there are so many uh, really really interesting stuff. So I I I I think if you guys interested uh, in just talk to me and I, I don't I don't want to spend more time to dive into those uh, uh, details knowledge anymore because I feel like I really want to grab most people's attention. I I talk to Alejandro, talk to Jenny, talk to uh, you know um, you know Frank and uh, and so I I just want to make sure um, you know uh, most of you are engaged with this. Um, this class and um, it's, this is really really important because um, I don't want to turn this one into um, like an online lecture you can find anywhere in that case uh, doesn't serve the purpose well right you can always go online watch YouTube some some uh, some videos and uh, learn yourself and so that's why I'm constantly try to find a uh, best what what is best for you and allow you to learn with me together and uh, you know utilize this time all most effective way and so that is I constantly try to find a way uh, to try to say sometimes my understanding may not be matching well with you guys need right or you guys interest right that's why I'm keep keep tweaking try to find uh, what is best uh, working for you. Um, you know, of course, uh, many of you do not really tell me what you read, you know, what 
what, what your need is or uh, what your interest is. So it's really hard for me to guess around. But, uh, but anyway, uh, you know, I, I, will try, I, I will try to do my best, right? Um, so I, what I found is, what I found out is that, um, you know, it's, um, it's really, really uh, probably um, I will change, uh, I will try another, you know, I, I have tried, for example, I talked to you about the universe a little bit, you know, astronomy a little bit, and then uh, the, the mass and the physics behind it. And then I talk a little bit about optics and the uh, tree and so on. So now I'm going to try again, try to say if there's a work better for you. Um, probably I'm going to say, uh, you know, this time I'm going to talk about, talk about you know, how to do research and uh, some of the potential research project, uh, projects I can, I can think of for you, right? For, uh, uh, you know, of course, it cover a lot, quite different um, um, area. Um, so, uh, we'll see if you are interested in, and uh, the, the purpose is here is uh, maybe I can turn this one into a research um, uh, project together. So uh, we still have, uh, you know, um, more than six weeks of the summertime. So I like you to engage uh, with, uh, you know, maybe do a, be turn into, in, into a, your research project. In that case, of course, you need to define your research topic and then uh, uh, do lots of yourself uh, uh, study self uh, uh, search self research and but along the way of course we can work as a team you can work with me on one-on-one -on -one or three to one you know uh, whether you are working a lot depending on whether you like to work uh, uh, individually or you like to work with uh, one or two partners and uh, so you can always work with, with me uh, uh, in this uh, utilize this time or utilize separate time okay always okay but meanwhile, uh, maybe it's also good to uh, utilize this platform. You can, you know, um, you know, for example, you pick uh, this topic, but other people, people other topic, and um, which you know could be completely different. And uh, but uh, at least you can see how other people do, and you may be able to learn something from from each other, right? That's another purpose. Uh, you know, um, you know, collaboratively, we can uh, we can push your individual research project forward, and uh, hopefully. You can maximize your learning and, uh, you know, a way. Okay, here is, uh, today I'm going to uh, basically, uh, the first part, I quickly talk go over, there's a book called The Practical Research Method. I can send you this book, elect, uh, this uh, electronic version, and talk about some uh, basic research methods. And, um, 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 but it's, it's a really common knowledge, I, I think so. And then I'm going to dive into a different area, for example, history and the science, um, you know, area and the biology, chemistry, life science area, and the physics and astronomy area, and also technology engineering and, uh, um, you know, those areas. Uh, so let's say if um, uh, in each of in each of those area I, areas, I have, uh, you know, a couple uh, research topic potentially you can do. And of course, uh, you are welcome to come up with your own, right? And I'll uh, maybe complete out of those um, scope is fine. And doesn't matter, right? So uh, as long as you're interested in doing research, no matter it's humanity research, uh, science research, engineering, technology, and other things, um, you know, uh, you know, social science, and it's fine. And uh, so we can, we, uh, we can, uh, even though, I'll, uh, you know, I have only limited scope here, but uh, you are welcome at, at the end, and uh, so we can always uh, talk about, okay? So that's, that's pretty much for today. And then, um, of course, I need your feedback and so on. Uh, so, so talking about the research methods, right? And um, uh, this is what this book, uh, you know, the contents, I will go quickly. So of course, you know, you, you need to define your project, right? What can, you know, you need to pick a topic, you need to pick a question. Basically, research is really, really try to solve, um, try to answer a fundamental uh, research question, which, which is your research topic, right? No matter it is uh, human nature or science, uh, you know, STEM nature, but it is, uh, you know, it's uh, fundamentally you try to, cannot be too broad, right? You cannot call it science, right? You cannot call it, you know, nature science. You know, that is too broad. It doesn't really make any sense because this research, uh, the purpose for doing research, you try to dive, right, dive deep, as deep as possible, um, you know. Hopefully, you can you can learn something or you can understand something. Nobody, you know, at least to to your or to our knowledge, nobody 
able to understand, right? That's the best, right? If you are the first one, uh, you know, understand this one, come up with this idea or this uh, new, new, new invention or new, new scientific theory or discovery or realization, that would be perfect, right? Of course, as a, as a high schooler, and, uh, you know, that is um, too much, uh, re you know, uh, you know, we're asking for too much. And even for a PhD student, uh, if they can, uh, you know, really make something uh, discovery, new discovery along one particularly narrow field, that is already great. So that is what, uh, um, you know, uh, P PhD uh, research is for. But for now, is, uh, you know, you can, through this process, to learn how to do research and, uh, and hopefully you can, um, um, learn how to how to how to and you know during this uh, research project of course besides you define your project and your question you try to uh, study uh, and of course there's a um, methodology associated with that right for example you need um, for example you need to do literature research we need to understand what you know what people regarding to this topic what other people and the prior uh, currently to you and uh, how much uh, other people has been um, and has been able to understand and um, relate to this one and uh, how much publications they have you know they have uh, in their publication how much they have talked about and uh, you know you need to understand the background what we call the background information so basically relate to the, your project right you want to collect you want to read enough you want to think enough you want to search enough to make sure you understand other people have already done, already understood and uh, you know, already discovered. And then, then so that's where I build a foundation for you, right? You can step on top, on the shoulder of uh, those of, uh, giants, right? Those formal knowledge, so you can continue to push forward. So that is basically the, the research. And, uh, and, uh, and so basically, um, you know, the first part is, uh, of course, background research and uh, literature, literature readings and uh, build up your background knowledge, of course. Sometimes you pick a project, for example, you want to study the black hole and, uh, you know, um, you, you don't really have lots of uh, physics background yet, then you have to build your, uh, your physics knowledge background. Otherwise, it's really hard to, to even understand what people publish about, right? And, uh, so, so that's another thing. But anyway, that is also uh, related to your background uh, information, background uh, knowledge, background research, uh, literature research, and so on. So once you reach that stage, then you are once, for example, uh, pick a uh, pick a topic. You have done enough research, and you understand what people. Have. You don't really probably there's no way you can understand everything people have done on, on this topic, right? And, but you understand enough, and in that case, you could uh, summarize and uh, you could, um, um, you know, try to build your own understanding around this topic, then you can start to, you can start to build your, your own opinion, your own uh, theory, your own structure, and, uh, uh, you, uh, you know, you can start to, offer your own, uh, own uh, discovery or own idea. So that is basically research. And uh, so that's basically, of course, uh, moving into that phase of, I mean, th that next phase is really, um, you know, involved uh, your, research, your research method, right? Uh, so, so basic research method could be, for example, uh, you know, for um, here, for this book, I think it's really, top, top, it's really probably is uh, mostly, um, uh, social science or uh, humanitarian research. So therefore, uh, talking about lots of interview, for example, questionnaires, uh, surveys, and um, um, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, all those kind of things. But in the scientific um, uh, scientific research, and uh, you know, uh, you probably were used less interview or uh, questionnaires kind of survey stuff. In the more, uh, you know, you know, you need to do theoretical. Uh, deduction, or you need to do some experimental, uh, you know, uh, you know, exploration, and so on. Okay, so there's different uh, research method associated, of course, uh, different depending on which field could use, right? If you are doing um, um, sociology research, and lots of time you do involve like survey questionnaire and try to, you know, do a data analysis, and for for you know physics research, you probably won't be really relate to questionnaire or survey is, is because it's dealing with nature thing. 
So it's so that that defines a different research method. Okay. So eventually, of course, once you um, you know um, uh, the, the last step uh, is more like uh, in between. Of course, there's research proposal, whatever. Then 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 the last time you you, you have once you make some uh, progress, you try to summarize them. You try to put them down into uh, on paper. All right. So you turn them into a research report, or uh, uh, publishable, or uh, you know uh, you know kind of you know. Um, uh, research report uh, we call a uh, publication of uh, a paper and so uh, so that's the final stage and uh, uh, of the uh, ending the research this whole research project right okay report your findings and uh, in writing write reports write a paper article journal and oral presentation which goes to conference and so on so those are the basically um uh, uh, of course, in between, depend what kind of research. There's analysis. There is, uh, you know, there is, uh, you know, um, um, you know, um, uh, try to get conclusion and do after doing uh, thorough. Uh, depending on if you are doing experiment, you have um, um, uh, results and have to do analysis and try to uh, get conclusion compared to your your hypothesis or your theory. How that matching well? Why my not matching well? Why and so on. So those are analysis part. So this is basically the uh, whole research, uh, a very quick uh, five minutes, uh, 10 minutes uh, overview of research uh, uh, process procedure. Any question so far? Okay, any question just, uh, you know, welcome jump in, okay? And I, I said I, 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 you know, I hate to do everything in part because without you guys' uh, feedback or input, I, it's really hard for me to do this. I can talk the whole day about anything, but uh, but it's harder to harder to um, harder to uh, to find the optimal op optimal method uh, fit would fit you well, right? Uh, I, you know, of course, I understand sometimes you don't even know what is best for you, but it's fine. Uh, so that's why we try to explore. Uh, together, um, so so um, so here. So, so next, um, um, uh, here is basically a uh, you know another. Uh, I think I found somewhere wrote this, but it's uh, gave you a quick example. It's basically you know um, you know uh, the procedure involved start research pro project is like this, right? You have to do the literature survey in the area of your interest, right? Uh, which relate to the topic you're going to do, right? And then. You have to study the literature material, and um, and from there potentially identify the the the, the problem, right? Anything um, you you can contribute to, right? And uh, then based on those, this one, you can set your goal roadmap, and uh, you can start working according to your plan of actions. Uh, you know, uh, you know. Then you have used your research method. Could be experiments. Could be theoretical analysis, uh, deduction, uh, you know, formula derivation, and uh, and or could it be social science. Sometimes involved a survey and uh, you know, or, or in a questionnaire, uh, sending to you know, talk interview people and so on. Then you have to once you have those uh, data, whatever coming back, you have to do uh, an, an analyzing and compare and try to draw conclusion and then. Uh, then compare with you originally, uh, your 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 theory or your guess, your you know so on. So then the eventually, uh, you know, then um, uh, there you, you need then up then at the end you write a report and try to publish your result. or try to share your result, your 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 your, your result uh, with other uh, with uh, your colleagues. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, the, uh, the the you know the research. Uh, uh, procedure, right? So, in terms of uh, where are you going to once you finish your report, right? A paper, um, where you go? There's international conference, right? And you can go to publish your uh, your uh, results. And uh, uh, de depending on the what kind of international conference, sometimes people ask you to write an uh, abstract, and sometimes conference require you write a one, two, three page of the summary and of your paper. And some uh, some conference also publish full uh, full proceeding of uh, a paper. 
a complete paper, but it's a re uh, some uh, mo most conference just publish abstracts, and uh, and so uh, there's journal publication in any subject, physics, biology, and uh, anything, and uh, there's always uh, quite a bit of international uh, recognized uh, journal uh, for a lot particular field for people to researchers to publish their result, right? Uh, there were famous one, you know, in the uh, nature science field, uh, the very famous one, for example, like uh, the U Nature, called the Nature uh, Research um, Publications from UK. And uh, in US, we have, we call it Science. Science, science Magazine is top research, uh, research, uh, world leading research place, uh, publication place. And then there's uh, in the biology, there's called a Cell, um, you know. Anyway, in in uh, in every subject, there is uh, a ranked, uh, you know, most uh, uh, most famous publications, journal publications, and so on. Right. For you, of course, it's, uh, you don't really need to. Uh, you know, you uh, if you have a result, uh, you know, finding the right place to publish is good for you. Uh, you know, you can go to international conference. Uh, like in, before, we have student, you know, uh, sending paper to international conference. We have students sending paper to journal publications. And, uh, and we have also students, uh, you know, have create a patent, you know, of quite applying for patents. And, um, and of course, for as a high schooler, you can uh, try, you can with your research result, you can attending science fair, uh, you know, engineering fair, you can assign, and attend all kinds of those kind of uh, competitions, right? The famous one like the Intel, uh, Intel, uh, uh, Google uh, Science Engineering Fair. Uh, there is, uh, you know, um, uh, some uh, for some some requires a green card of uh, citizen. For example, like um, like the you know the Siemens, uh, you know, competition. There is like the uh, uh, before we called uh, 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 Intel uh, talent search talent competition. Right now called a uh, uh, religion uh, and a competition. And there are so many different type, uh, different different channels you can compete, uh, you know, uh, for your research publication, research uh, result uh, about, right? So those are the things, uh, you know, uh, as as you develop, and uh, we can talk about, and uh, where we go in terms, of what 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 things you can you can send, a, you, you can write a paper, you can send it for conference, uh, journal publications, so on, and uh, attending those competition. Uh, before we go to there, let me. Let me show you, uh, for example, right. So this is a, uh, this is a, uh, uh, can you, can you see now? Is, do I share this one? Let me see. Oh, am I in the sharing mode? Probably not. Uh, let me share. Yeah, here. So this is trying to share. So this is uh, basically at least I can send you those uh, in different fields, those uh, um, very, you know, uh, lots of uh, international conference in hum on arts, humanities, in, uh, you know, in sustainability, public policy, in solar energy and the sociology and the social science and the sensor and the remote sensing, scientific computing, robotics conference, and the science conference in general, renewable energy, psychology, philosophy, political science, political philosophy conference, physics, chemistry, biology, and biochemistry, econ, computer science, all the, you know, there's so, so many conferences, uh, you know, our, 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 you know, photography conference, uh, nutri nutrition and um, psychology, um, you know, um, you know uh, journalism and nanotechnology, um, medical, research, material science, um, all sorts of, okay, environmental science, history, human rights, and uh, international politics, international relationship, all sorts of, and uh, energy. And so, so yeah, so, you know, this is uh, later on, you know, once you are, you pick your research project, once you, you we can look into this one for, uh, for where you go for your publication, uh, you know, potentially. Got it? So, Okay, so na next, uh, next I will show you. Uh, yeah, welcome, jump in. Okay, if you have any question, okay, I don't want to be turn this one into a purely lecture, and uh, uh, I know you can you can ask question. Um, so that's uh, that's for this, and then 
um, then let me continue uh, let me continue um, yeah let me continue into the um, uh, the research project potentially uh, we can come up uh, you know um, so um, so some of them actually I, I touched uh, touched upon in the past uh, six seven lectures right for example we talk I you know this is a, a history and uh, history of science right this is a, a science and uh, humanity uh, interdiscipline area I would call it's the more towards the humanity area so for example, uh, you could pick a research topic like a Greek history of science and the origination of science, right? So uh, it's, you know, it's roughly from uh, several hundred, uh, um, um, you know, up to thousand year BC, uh, it's the starting our record history and uh, to, to the, you know, uh, to a couple hundred years after uh, uh, Christian. Uh, and so, um, uh, after, you know, you can, you can pick, uh, you know, you can study the, uh, you know, the, um, for example, Aristotle and the people before Aristotle. How how the how the Greek uh, Greek guys, uh, you know, push the science towards a, a science understanding, and the um, uh, uh, so kick off the the the, the science scientific, um, uh, you know, uh, subjects the field. Um, of course, a big difference between science and uh, religion, or science and uh, uh, you know other things, is really about the you know logical and uh, uh, logical thinking, and also some uh, reason reasoning method, right? Uh, based on the you know concrete reasoning and scientific method, uh, what we call our logical method. So this is uh, you know this is uh, um, we believe that is starting from roughly that time. And uh, human able to uh, saying oh you know um, before was completely uh, like uh, uh, guessing or religion and not really based on facts, based on measurement, based on uh, logical reasoning. Now we needed to really to start to do the reasoning part. So so this is the one you could uh, you know more like history of science research topic, right? And. Uh, we talk about this um, in the Middle Age, uh, Islamic uh, guy called uh, um, Ahadzeni. So Ahadzeni um, is, um, you know, is um, um, not so much a uh, credit uh, person actually made. Um, um, recent year, people believe he made, he made a tremendous progress, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the scientific field, especially in the, uh, in the, in the optics, in the, uh, in the field related to light. Um, so, um, however, he wasn't really being credited enough. For, for example, many people never heard about this guy. Actually, we heard a lot about Isaac Newton, uh, Kepler, and uh, uh, Copernicus, and uh, Galileo, but we never heard about this guy. But this guy actually wrote a, a very thick book, and um, um, unfortunately, his original Islamic version, he, he, he was Islam. Uh, uh, um, it, it, original Islamic version, uh, you know, didn't uh, survive. And, uh, but the Latin, Latin trans, trans, uh, version, Latin translation into the Western world survived. So, um, so he was, he lived around uh, 900 to 1000 year uh, AD. And, um, and which was, um, you know, uh, about 600 years early than Isaac Newton or Galileo time. So um, you know, we we I, I mentioned that Isaac Newton, Galileo, Kepler actually all read read the Latin version of his publication, uh, got lots of uh, you know um, um, ideas, knowledge, and uh, uh, realization from him. Uh, so um, so this a you know you you could define project uh, around try, try to study into him or his. He, you know, the history of his discovery and uh, the contribution he made, and uh, his relationship with his discovery leading to the late on uh, Newton Newton age, uh, uh, you know, scientific breakthrough. Right. Um, yeah. So, so this is this project. Okay. So, um, 
Here is also could be uh, even though it's not related to my lecture in the past a few uh, uh, you know couple weeks few weeks and but uh, in principle you could be a linguistic uh, language evolution and uh, you know and uh, uh, this is this is a, a could be a one project I throw throw up here right I throw throw to here the so linguistics language evolution uh, in in the history and how that relate to actually you could link that to genetics right so that you know i i just randomly give you a project here and if you're interested in and um so then i jump into the field more like life science biology chemistry uh for example i mentioned about this called uh, miller urey experiment and uh, uh which it was an experiment that designed in the 1950s trying to understand the origination of life right so this uh, miller urey experiment quite uh, famous however there was what there were quite a bit controversial uh, you know a debate about early the experiment uh, and done by miller and the urey uh, and uh, and also later on the people did uh, re redo his ex their experiment uh, you know uh, because uh, there are lots of uh, disagreement uh, you know about the assumption of the you know uh, experiment um maybe let me let, let me switch to uh yuri and and this um For example, uh, this this one is a paper published in 2017, um, three years ago, and uh, by Conair uh, uh, researchers uh, from Conair University talking about the formation of nuclear bases in a Miller-Urey reducing atmosphere. It's basically, is trying to reduce the Miller-Urey experiment. Uh, you know, studies. Uh, uh, formation of uh, you know uh, uh, the building block of life um, you know so this you know this is um, this is um, you know um, 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 pretty recent uh, work along this line this topic okay so you can see they talk about how to use ammonium carbon monoxide high, high water HCN, CO2, C2H2, trying to create eventually under, uh, you know, maybe discharging temp high temperature and, uh, you know, um, um, uh, radiation environment, try to simulate the early environment of Earth, trying to say how we could, uh, how this uh, inorganic stuff can turn into organic, turn into life, a building block for life, turn into the Building block for DNA and RNA, right? So that is one uh, people still, uh, or, you know, still um, you know, working into this basic showing the uh, electric charge discharge, how to break the break the bond uh, between this inorganic molecule, how to eventually forming this organic. I mean, the a large big big molecule which leading to the uh, life. Okay. So um, let me see what else. Um, da, da, da. Any questions so far? Okay. Um, so um, let let me um, go go to continue. Um, okay. So um, this is basically this is uh, Miller Urey experiment is really talking is basically between chemistry biology and interdisciplinary between chemistry biology and uh, and uh, uh, you know uh, um, uh, life science okay 
And uh, uh, you could study another project related to you know our life dependent heavy elements like uh, we need uh, we need uh, uh, we need iron we need um, we need uh, 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 um, sodium and how those um, heavy elements uh, and how they form in the universe uh, since uh, Big Bang right. So how the heavy element was able to create it and where, when it, they were created. For example, on Earth we have, you know, on Earth, Earth we have lots of heavy element, but the majority uh, the, uh, in the universe, uh, the, the most element actually is hydrogen and helium, right? So, uh, so how, those, uh, how those heavy element eventually are being uh, being formed and were being formed and uh, and so how that eventually uh, contribute to the life process. Even though they are not the uh, most rich uh, top five element in any in any life, uh, you know, no matter how human or animals or or the plants and so on. And so this is uh, basically composition of life and life's building block and their creation development. So this is you know related to what we just talked about. Uh, you can talk about from the U U uh, Miller Urey experiment to all the way to you know to look into the life uh, creation process in the past uh, in the past uh, how many billion years and uh, in the, in the, our universe is thirteen point seven thirteen point eight billion years old. Our our solar system Sun and Earth is about four point five billion years old and. Uh, uh, the earliest life on Earth is believed also about four billion years old, and of course our our human um, our human um, human history is quite short, right? It's uh, it's only only you know only probably only about only only like uh, you know we're talking about uh, you know hundred ten uh, ten thousand years or less. Okay, so. Um, and um, uh, another potential research project called life based on carbon and carbon chemistry. So basically carbon chemistry based life, right? So why carbon, why carbon becomes uh, essential to our life, right? Uh, to any life on, on, on earth. And uh, uh, because of course, because carbon is, um, is, has a four, has four, you know, uh, valence, uh, you know, electrons and can form four bonds. And uh, give uh, mer give a variety of you know the most rich uh, you know opportunity to form all sorts of different uh, molecules, uh, big and small, right? So we have simple as carbon dioxide, and uh, you know uh, complex as you know all those uh, you know, organic molecules, our polymers, and uh, big chain. No matter is big uh, carbon 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 chain like the one showing here, polyethylene, and all could be you know, like the you know ring formed uh, you know benzene uh, you know type of the you know carbon uh, compound or you know uh, complicated like for example like the uh, DNA the you know double twist structure, right? So those are all uh, all carbon based. So why carbon? Um, this is a very interesting research project you can do. And uh, why carbon? And how carbon was? Uh, you know, um, incorporating in the life structure and be eventually become the corner piece of life. And uh, why? And, um, um, and there is another question. If you're talking about why carbon, there's naturally, you know, of course, it's why not silicon? So uh, why not silicon? That is a very, uh, very interesting question. Uh, you can see lots of, um, you know, research actually start from triggered by curiosity, actually. Uh, lots of people very curious. They will, they will ask lots of uh, very strange questions, right? So, for example, why life is this way, no that way, right? So, why we somehow accidentally formed uh, carbon-based life? Uh, so, why not silicon? Because silicon is much richer on Earth, um, you know, than carbon. So, let me switch to that and give you an uh, idea about this. Uh, Uh, 
Oh, you know, um, Alfonso has a question is, do you need an invitation to even submit abstract uh, to scientific conference? No, uh, you don't need an invitation. You can, for, for all the scientific publication, scientific uh, conference, uh, you can free to submit. And it's like, um, uh, you know, um, uh, people welcome on uh, your know, contribution. Welcome uh, anyone. Of course, there's, uh, depending on what kind of uh, um, conference, what kind of uh, journal, there's a scientific review process. There could be a peer review process. And uh, um, um, higher level, um, well recognized, uh, most famous uh, journal, of course, they have more uh, uh, stringent uh, peer review process. Uh, they have to try to hold their high standard in terms of their publication quality, uh, you know, so on. So, so, um, so there is um, there is a good um, very interesting uh, research uh, direction is about the silicon chemistry so uh, silicon based life right I found this one online a uh, talk uh, talk given by uh, someone uh, you know Dr Shao in 2016 about uh, silicon based life and uh, so basically um, so what's the difference between silicon and uh, and uh, and the carbon right. Let's jump to the, what's the difference between silicon and carbon. Um, so here, so why silicon, so, right? So silicon, same as the carbon, is also in this group, right? Group four, right? And, uh, and so, so, so um, you know, also offer the four valence, elect valence electron and can bond the same way as carbon and similarly. And uh, so then why not life formed in a silicon case? Uh, why, why our body not, not made of silicon rather than made of carbon? That, that is a good question. So you, 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 if you look like silicon in uh, terrestrial life, and the silicon actually is in the crust, in our Earth's crust, silicon is 28%. Carbon is only 0.03%. Even though on surface carbon is, is uh, you know, is more, right, relative speaking, but uh, we have sand, right? Sand is si silicon dioxide, basically, right? Everywhere, and ocean, on the ocean, uh, you know, floor, and uh, so, so uh, the rock is a lot with silicon. And uh, so the, the why, why, why is the carbon with only uh, one hundreds of, you know, one thousands of silicon, uh, you know, uh, in, in terms of richness, eventually becomes a you know a major part of life rather than silicon even though the both has has a similar you know at least uh, you know um, balance band structure and uh, capability to form a similar bond right those are the question and based on the question you should you can do research about people have done something right? you have a look at you know um, Potentially using silicon to form artificial amino acid, right? And uh, you know, we search and replace silicon for carbon, right? And uh, what you know, bonding energy and the molecule analysis and so on. And um, and uh, so 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 why? So what's the difference if we can do a silicon life? Worse carbon life, right? We, as we know, carbon life is pretty, pretty sensitive. Carbon life, right? Carbon, our current life, nobody can survive a uh, boiling temperature, right? You know, you throw any, you know, life into, into boiling water, all die, right? I'll die immediately. And uh, we, and not even talking about hundred degrees C, and talking about fifty degrees C, we cannot survive on, in in fifty degrees C environment. Uh, similarly, we cannot survive in minus, uh, you know, 50 degrees C uh, environment, right? We cannot, if we don't have liquid water, we cannot survive. And uh, our body is liquid water, lots of, lots of, you know, 70% liquid water. And, uh, and so if, uh, if we're talking about uh, uh, some, some, on some planet, the temperature is forever minus, Below zero degree C, so how could we how could we form life? Uh, you know, no, we cannot form carbon life. But can we form silicon life? 
Maybe, yes. Silicon can survive pretty broad temperature range, can go to Mars pretty hot, 100 some degrees C, no problem. Go to really cold and uh, minus 100 degrees C may not have, neither has any problem. So, so why not silicon? So those are the interesting questions, isn't it? Um, anyway, so those are the things we can talk about. Uh, you can pick as uh, your research project. And um, um, so uh, let me go back to my, okay. So next um, is pretty much physics and astronomy. And uh, you know, we talk about a little bit about black hole gravitational wave and the most recent discovery of gravitational wave a few years ago, uh, further, you know, uh, uh, further supporting the Einstein general relativity theory and so on. The black hole, two black hole, or two, or two neutron star collide each other, cause a huge, uh, you know, uh, space time, uh, um, you know, warping and then the, the wave uh, accordingly propagate uh, uh, into the space. Uh, into the universe and we we find a way to detect it on earth right so the black hole and uh, uh you know um uh, in my uh in, in one lecture before uh, last one i think i talked a little bit about how to calculate a sim similar black hole and uh, a black hole uh dimension or size so uh, the famous uh, the formula and based on the you know light can light uh, escape from the black hole now and so on and um, here is uh, talking about angular momentum. You have learned some physics. You know the very fundamental thing is uh, angular momentum conservation, uh, So, and what can the role, what has role in universe cre creation evolution? For example, when we have initially the cluster, star cluster and uh, clouds, and eventually form the kind of way, for example, like our, uh, you know, our Milky Way gal galaxy. So, uh, you know, our sun is, uh, uh, you know, pretty far away from the center of the Milky Way gal galaxy. And we are on one of the big arms, spinning arm. And the, is, uh, the whole Milky Way look like a big disc spinning around. And so why is, uh, why is forming that way? There's called the angular momentum thing. And, um, and they're quite a bit interesting from a physics perspective. And, um, and there's another called, um, uh, called um, you know, in the universe, in the, in the astronomy, it's called, called, there's a very famous called uh, uh, Albert's uh, parado uh, paradox. Uh, this talk about uh, a simple thing, question asking, if, if we believe the universe infinite, we have infinite star in the sky and in the universe, so every angle we look into the sky in the night, we should always encounter one of the stars, right? Yeah, every, every, everybody probably agree with that because uh, that is a uh, uh, very logical scientific reasoning. Uh, in that case, uh, shouldn't, the, shouldn't the sky should be bright rather than dark, right? Because everywhere look out, you should see a star. In that case, why not? Why not bright? Why, why, why not dark? So um, this one also people uh, study those and um, let me pull out. Um, and you want to, if you want to learn. Um, okay, here, here basically, you know, why is the night sky dark, right? This is this is a fundamental one of the questions from the for the for the cosmology and it's called uh, um, Albert's uh, paradox. And uh, so, um, so basically, yeah, you look out and it should be everywhere should has a star, and uh, you know you can always encounter star a lot any direction you look out. So it shouldn't be um, uh, bright. Star the whole sky should be bright. And uh, and so why not? And so there's a, you know there's lots of discussion. It's 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 a look like a simple question actually. Uh, you could uh, dive into uh, and try to understand universe. Uh, you know, expanding universe and uh, you know coming out to be uh, something really deep. Uh, you need a deep knowledge to really answer this question. Okay. Um, 
yeah, you could also like neutron star, black hole, and look into dark energy, dark material, because as a uh, universe we know, current, uh, you know, um, cosmology or uh, astronomy, we know that uh, our observed um, stuff or uh, calculate out stuff, like, uh, you know, we know there is, uh, you know, black hole, we know there is, um, there is, um, there is, uh, you know, star or something orbiting around something. We can calculate the whole universe mass, and uh, we found out actually the, you know, the visible mass is only a few percent of the total mass. So there's, there's ninety percent of mass is missing, and we call it dark, dark mass, dark material. We don't know why, where those masks went to. So uh, there's uh, this one question in the in, in the in the cosmology and uh, in the astronomy. Uh, you know, you could uh, look into. Uh, if you're interested in spectrum light, you can uh, study astronomy from the uh, you know um, you know even from single photon spectrum perspective. I, I put lots of those links. You uh, you know can can relate to this kind of reading and background. There's Big Bang Theory, Star Creation, Universe Model, and if you like, interesting, interesting to look into. Um, um, you know, here is another thing I throw in for you for fun in the physics of uh, cooking, like food cooking. So uh, let me switch to um, so everything. Actually, there everything. Everything is always very interesting to 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 study. Actually, mm, let me see the cooking one. A few years ago, there 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 was an Italian physicist published a paper called uh, yeah, "Physics of Baking Perfect Pizza." Um, so this. This guy actually actually caused a quite um, yeah here so physics of baking pizza. He published this paper actually on internet and then later on in 2018 on a journal called Physics Education, and caused a quite a bit uh, you know um, you know fame in the physics world in the physicist world, and uh, everybody read his paper. Because um, it's, even though it's a simple, not that complete, compli complicated physics. However, it's uh, you know because study and try to understand uh, a fundamental question: Why, uh, how could you could pick uh, the best taste pizza? Why those famous pizza place is not the modern kitchen made rather than those old using the stove, using the using the brick, uh, you know, um, hundred years old oven to bake? So why they make the better pizza? And so that's from physics perspective, trying to understand the baking process and so on. So this guy, uh, this guy, uh, Valamov, and actually wrote this paper, and uh, this one caused quite a bit of interest. And uh, he, he went on working with two of Chinese physicists, uh, wrote another paper talking about sampling, talking about Chinese food, how to cooking, and the inside of physics. And actually, I, I thought this quite interesting. and. Uh, Talking about heat transfer, of course, how to heat heat the pizza, and uh, you know, using the model to calculate simple physics model to calculate the heating process and uh, and uh, and those formulas simple, not very complicated. And but however, is uh, quite interesting, uh, you know, discovery or uh, realization. And simple, you know, with uh, simple simple calculus, you can do it. And uh, and so yeah, so. So that's going to be, um, you know, if you are interesting, you could uh, uh, read those and think about what else you can study. You can think about it. Cooking maybe turkey, cooking uh, maybe I don't know, uh, you know, um, some other things, uh, Chinese food, and um, maybe songs. Um, so um, you can try to apply those knowledge. Um, okay, let me see. There is another paper. There's another paper called, uh, yeah, here is another paper. Let me show you quickly. Uh, yeah, this is one also from him, uh, Vala, Vala Mov, and working with two physicists from Fudan University, 
uh, uh, I think it's also 2018, uh, talking about the bowling, steaming, or raising physics of the Chinese uh, cushion. And uh, in talking about, you know, uh, you know, for example, our hot pot and our, you know, dumpling and, uh, you know, steam the dumpling and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, this is uh, basically hot pot boiling, right? You, uh, you dip in and uh, talking about uh, heat transfer, uh, you know, there are some of physics, uh, uh, heat transfer equation, calculation, what factor affecting the, you know, speed, uh, cooking speed, and uh, why, why a piece of, uh, you know, piece of lamb only need uh, a few seconds, you can, you can get it, uh, you know, ready to eat and so on. Um, so, yeah, interesting. Um, um, so, um, so that is, uh, you know, this is a good, uh, good in, uh, research um, project for you. Yeah, physics, physics of food cooking. Uh, there are lots of things you can, you can, you can come up with. Um, then in the technology engineer area of there's, uh, you know, my field is nanotechnology and uh, nanophotonics, if you are interested in. And there's, uh, you know, I also work in the energy and, uh, for example, like solar cell. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, because of the, you know, um, Tesla and the new, uh, new technology related to the electrical car and so on, the battery technology, energy storage, and uh, of course, uh, also related to solar energy, you need to store the energy because uh, uh, solar, all the solar cell has an issue with that only sun in the, in, the, in, the, in the noon, of course, sun is strongest. You have lots of, you generate lots of uh, solar energy, but uh, uh, you, you cannot use them. Then where, you, where they go and uh, you cannot live there. And so you have to store them. Uh, so what is the energy storage technology, basic battery technology? So that's why battery technology in the recent years become a key, essential. If you can invent a new generation battery, you probably can become really rich because people need that. Um, um, and not only for the uh, electrical car, uh, electric bicycle, but also for in general energy storage. Uh, because there are, uh, we are turning, we are moving to renewable energy, which is really solar and uh, wind, and uh, how to store the energy is become big issue. Because uh, you know, in the in the sun, in the solar case, you only have a few hours per day of uh, good good sunlight, and then there is night, dark, and no sunlight. So you have to store them and use later, right? Um, you know, so so that is why you need a battery. Why why the energy storage technology is so essential? Uh, solar cell, uh, new, new sol uh, electricity generation method, renewable energy is so important. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's a quick, uh, a quick uh, you know, one hour kind of uh, discussion about potential research project and uh, how we do research and so on for you guys. I hope you, you enjoy it and uh, so you can think about it and, uh, and then, um, um, you know, maybe we, I leave maybe like, uh, you know, 30 minutes, we, if you 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 want to jump in to discuss or you know say what you are what your interests are or uh, and or you can talk to each other and finding something you group together and uh, um, pick your research project or you can come up with something completely not here completely different completely new completely uh, you know outside those areas fine perfect no problem okay good. Fine. Any question? Um, so I think it's um, you know if do you, do you, does anybody like to share something or uh, talk about something? Uh, we have do we have any question uh, I can answer or uh, or. Uh, Oh, you can, you can, uh, I'm recording this, uh, this, uh, um, this, uh, this video. So I send you the link later and uh, you can, you can watch again or you want to, uh, you know, uh, maybe you take some notes and uh, you want to think about it, what you want to, uh, you want to turn them into a research project, uh, up to you, right? So um, I'm here to help you. And so uh, anytime you have a question, come, come to me. 
and how you say, oh, I want to work with uh, someone and we two are going to uh, you know, work on this project, uh, we two are going to work on that project, and uh, then you know, you, you know, we can use this time, this platform going forward to discuss. You can come to present your, your thought, your, your thinking, your project you know, progress, and we can also, uh, you can also uh, make another point and we can talk one-on-one -on -one or separately. It's fine, it, either way, okay? Any question? Um, if not, we can we can just leave here, and um, and uh, let you let you th think about it. Or uh, if you want me to go back to teach you something, just let me know. Um, and um, I can go back to optics conversation. I can go back to. Um, um, Calculus, do you want to learn a little bit about calculus? We still have like 20 minutes. You can learn a little bit of calculus, do one of the calculus problem. Do you like it? Uh, we can do, we can talk, continue to talk about optics. Uh, we, can, we can talk to universe or whatever. Um, any, any proposal, any thought? Oh, you want to, you guys want to stop here and then we can, we can stop here and then we can come back next time. I'll, uh, you know, I can talk to you separately uh, offline. Well, I, I'm fine with anything yeah, that you just said. Okay. And how about uh, Jenny and uh, Mort Morty and uh, Alexander? Any idea? Because we, 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 today we only have uh, f four of you. And I think, uh, um, uh, Leo has tied with his class, and uh, Frank has uh, has a uh, one um, something. Um, um, can you send us the presentation? You just yeah, I, I will I will send you uh, the presentation material. Uh, yeah, maybe to the WeChat group. Yeah. Um. So, um, can we talk a few minutes after this? So I want to um get familiar with everything here. Um, you want to, you want to get what? Sorry, I missed. Uh, so I hope to talk uh, individually after this lecture. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, anytime. You, 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 you feel free to reach out to me. Yeah, you can talk, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you want to share here and, you know, with the group is fine. Yeah, it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's up to you. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Um, so, good. I, I know Amorti also pretty interested in physics and uh, you know the uh, you know math and uh, that which is great and uh, actually we have uh, Morty we have another at least a couple other um, student quite interesting in same similar interest like you for example Leo Leo is uh, Leo is very much interested in physics and uh, from Leo from Berkshire and uh, so unfortunately he's not here today but uh, I can hook you up with, uh, you with him. And, uh, Maybe you I can, see. you guys can do something together. And uh, Leo yeah. mentioned to me he wanted to do um, black hole research, and uh, he already talked to me uh, last week. And I sent already sent him quite a bit of uh, reading material for relate to that project. And uh, yeah, if you like, uh, you know, yeah. Um, actually, I want to um, do some research about engineering like um, the engine improvement, something like that. Yeah, you, you mentioned to me last time, I know, yeah. So yeah, sure. So that's, that's um, you know, that's, that's good too, yeah. Um, um, so we can, yeah, you can define that one as your uh, research project. And so we can start, uh, you know, uh, reading up and then, uh, um, I, I'm not expert in that area, but I, I, can, I can use my general you know, uh, PhD training or research training to help you along the way. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other thing, other question? Okay, cool. And in, if that's case, let's maybe just end here. Is that okay for today? Okay, okay, then or see you, uh, see you later, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, Marty, I were I were quick here. We can we can start a new 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 uh, new uh, Zoom session. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, Thank sure. you. So we're gonna start a new Thank one. Thank you. Bye-bye.